Hi, everyone. Rabbi Rosen here, hoping all is well with you. I'm very happy to have a few moments to share some thoughts with you before we enter Shabbat. I have very warm memories of a special day on the Jewish calendar known as Lag Omer. This year it happens to fall this coming Sunday. We had, as children, a kind of break from our ordinary school activities in Hebrew school. We went outside, we had picnics, we had barbecues, we had archery, all kinds of games to help celebrate the uniqueness of this very happy day. I didn't really fully appreciate what the holiday was all about until I got a bit older and came to truly treasure that one of the things we do on Lagba Omer is to mark with joy and with deep reverence the life and legacy of a very unique teacher, a teacher by the name of Shimon Bar Yochai. To this day, thousands upon thousands of Jews make a pilgrimage to his tomb in the northern part of Israel in the city, the town of Meron, in order to show their reverence for this teacher as well. So who was Shimon Bar Yochai? He was a teacher who had great courage. He refused to obey Roman authorities who made it forbidden for Jews to teach and to learn Torah. He continued to teach. And when he was chased, he found himself a hiding place, a cave where, according to tradition, he would hide along with his son for 12 full years. During that time, he meditated upon the mysteries of the universe and upon the true nature of God. We find that when he came out of the cave, that he gave us a very wonderful gift. Instead of being consumed by the darkness, he gave us wonderful teachings that continue to inspire us to this day. For example, one of them from Pirkei Avot, it may be familiar to some of you. There are three kinds of crowns in this world. There is the crown of Torah, the crown of priesthood, the crown of royalty. However, the crown of a good name, Keter Shem Tov, overcomes all the others, is more important than all of the others. A good reputation is something very precious in this world. He also taught that it would be better for one to fall into a fiery furnace than to embarrass a friend in public. He was oriented towards the dignity of others, making certain that their well-being and their self-worth would be preserved at all times. It is very easy to be consumed by darkness when we find ourselves in our own caves, when we find ourselves necessarily hiding from pieces of life because life is challenging, life is dark. But like Shimon Bar Yochai, we have a choice. We have a choice to walk back into the light, and when we do so, to bring messages not only of self-assertion and, and hope for ourselves, but also of appreciation of others, of seeing their self-worth as being creatures in God's image as much as we are. So I hope that in all of the dark days that we encounter, we will remember the brightness of the life of a Shimon Bar Yochai, that when we come out of dark places, we become ourselves beacons of light, capable of teaching by our own lives and our own teachings that which is worthwhile in our existence on this earth. Always wonderful to share some time with you. I wish you well, and Shabbat Shalom.